Well, ladies and gentlemen, the things that I feared the most ended up happening. Okay, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today, we're gonna be diving right into this one, okay? The homie Blame Truth is back! Oh, he is back! We are under massive Emo Blame Truth era, ladies and gentlemen. And get this, okay? Emo Blame Truth era happens once a year, but it surely does last a long freaking time, okay? <laughs> we're gonna get into this video, okay? Because a lot of people right now, admittedly, okay? Right now, a lot of people are saying that the game is fun i don't know how does that work but even you guys i would say 80 percent of you guys have been saying that the game is fun which is fair uh, a give or take 20 percent of you guys are saying that the game is trash and you're not liking it and that's also fair to like this video guys if you just want a good year without cheaters well too bad we got the cheaters right there you know what i'm Bruh. saying uh, but but still like when the game comes out like like the video if you want no cheaters in your game you want no skill based match freaking dislike the video if you don't want a good year and you want the friendly baby baby see I, I want to know where you guys at, but put your seatbelts on, guys. You're not going to like this. Roll it. So before I get into the nitty gritty here, I just want to say, first and foremost, volume warning. Okay. Make sure you have the volume kind of low because I am going to get loud. I okay. apologize for nothing. We are going to get incredibly loud. Uh, don't, don't worry, guys. I apologize on his behalf real quick, okay? In this video. Before I even begin here, before we get into the main gameplay of the Black Ops 6 beta, I just want to show you this walking animation with the uh, special emphasis on like, look how close it gets to the gun here and also the character model. It's kind of like Cold War, but it, with yeah. these weird like zoom-ins and whatnot. I'm assuming yeah, yeah, this is yeah. so you can see. Yeah, similar to like how we saw the, the helmet up on our face uh, back in the days by the homie Blame Truth, right? Similar to high Activision showed us the friendly baby online. Similar to how we had that friendly UAV online thrown up uh, at our faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get that. I get that. I get that. Your $40 regret of a skin purchase that makes you yeah. look like a virgin every single time you play this game. I don't know, man. But either way, the Black Ops 6 beta. Now, before we even get into the gameplay here, I want to show you guys the, the appetizer, just me trying to get into the game, which already put a bad taste in my mouth. And I, I just want to really <laughs> emphasize how fucking convoluted and complicated this shit has gotten. Yeah. And it, it's inexcusable. So let's look at I the timeline that, I here. And that. I do mean timeline. And now, genuinely, guys, okay, if you're watching this video, you're playing the game or you're not playing the game, depending on if you're playing or not, let me know your thoughts in the in the comments below. Because I, I trust the comment section a lot more this time around. Because, like, listen, I, I, I'm not playing the game right now. I, I might play next week when it goes free because right now i'm not looking to pre-order bruh i haven't been given the code or anything like that and i'm not necessarily searching for it because ever since i've seen the zombies gameplay bruh i was really excited for zombies man and these suckers uh, after turning the map into like a multiplayer warzone map i'm not even talking about the hud anymore bruh like yes uh, those uh that criticism is valid but ever since seeing the zombies gameplay nah bruh like i'll wait a little bit maybe it's not gonna be that bad hopefully it's not gonna be that bad i want i want the homies shaking okay i don't want the homies looking like this all year round man like i want the homies feeling happy looking happy and being happy okay like the video if you want to be happy man don't you want to be happy i want to be happy you want to be happy right but i trust the comment section a lot more now in the last video a lot of you guys were saying that, bro, you're loving the game, right? I'm loving the game, I'm loving the game. And that's honestly really, really good. If you're liking the game, let me know. If you're not liking the game, damn. Let me know in the comments below. I wanna know like where everybody's at because uh, right now a lot of people are liking the game even on youtube like the youtubers are saying that but those are like the paid influencers right and we're talking about the homie blame truth he brings the, like good points but he hates on everything so it's like i don't know man whether he's just hating for the sake of hating or he means it genuinely though line and emphasis is put on the word time because this goddamn fucking shit took forever 141 gigs and look i get what you're saying bt you can just check what you want and you don't have to like you know download everything you don't have to download warzone this is not with warzone installed this is just yeah. modern warfare 3 to get the cod hq Damn. i had no option just to download the black ops 6 beta and i need the cod hq just to play the black ops 6 beta and i don't have call of duty in uh, uh, he in line though I, I also downloaded the call of duty beta don't don't worry don't worry i downloaded Downloaded, I pre-downloaded so next week when it goes for free or if somebody or if somehow I get the code then I can try it out before next week right but I just pre-downloaded in case it was a uh, hundred some gigs I had to uh, uninstall two games bro I had to uninstall two games to download this <laughs> I had to uh, uninstall two games man like this is crazy bro like this game is gonna be yeah, it, it takes a lot of calories, man. It takes a lot of calories. Installed on my machine because why would I? I don't play this fucking tripe. So 141 plus gigs. 
just to get access to the beta. Okay. Next thing. Here we go. I boot up the COD HQ. Update requires restart. Oh, of course it does. Classic. <laughs> Classic. So it restarts. I reboot the Call of Duty HQ back up. I select Black Ops 6 from the okay. menu. It closes the COD HQ and then gives me this. Update requires restart for the Black Ops 6 portion. Uh, uh, restart requires restart is basically what it's saying. Four years, man. Damn, bro. For four years? This is a four years, 4,000 devs type of game, man. And this like, is still having complications like that. Damn. Damn, homie. But honestly, though, I don't necessarily care for stuff. I, I mean, I do, but I don't at the same time because I, I believe they're going to fix that. If they don't fix that, then that's going to be a problem. My main issue so far after seeing the, the multiplayer gameplay, I feel like that it's fun. A lot of people are saying it's fun, but I don't know. I have not played it, so I cannot judge it in that way, okay? Visually, it don't look too bad, but the, the, the issue, my issue with the multiplayer is that it does look like Modern Warfare 19 Part 4, let's just say, right? It looks like Modern Warfare 2023, Modern Warfare 2022, like all the games looking the same, so there's no novelty. That's my biggest issue based off of just looking at the gameplay, not playing. Maybe if I play, my opinions might change and I might end up liking it more or I end up hating it. I don't know. This is why I'm, I'm not pre-ordering. I, I want to try the game out, okay? Because if I pre-order right now, there goes my money, okay? There goes my money. Like, simply put, man, money does not grow on trees, okay? I'm blessed, okay? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Thank you for subscribing. I'm blessed even more. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, man. Welcome on in. But but see, like, I, I don't want to be wasting my money on, on crap like that. You feel what I'm saying? So if, if it turns out... The beta is good and I enjoy it. Oh, I'm gonna pre-order, right? I'm gonna buy the game. But uh, if, if I don't enjoy it, then nah. And, and there's no biggie, man. Like, simply put, like, if you guys are loving the game, you're loving the game. If you're hating the game, you're hating the game, right? Like, I got none against nobody, okay? But I still love the the the, the blame truth, the emo blame truth arrow, okay? Like, the emo blame truth arrow, guys, only happens once a year. It lasts a long time. It lasts a long time, okay? But still, it comes only once a year, guys. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm happy that he's not happy about the game and I'm happy that you guys are happy about the game or maybe not okay like I I'm just happy if you're happy I'm also happy if you're not happy if that, uh, if that makes sense kind of like Bruh. that don't even make sense but I'm happy if you're happy okay let me put it that way all right of this so of course it closes down I can't just boot up black ops 6 there's no option to I have to boot up the cod hq again so I do that and then I boot up black ops 6 again cod hq closes again okay swear to god I get back into Black Ops 6, it says this. Notice, connecting to online services. Reason, Livorno Navajo. Or I guess the pronunciation <laughs> is Navajo. Livorno Navajo sounds like... Uh, 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 pendejo, tranquilo, papi. Papi, tranquilo. Use car salesman that happens to be Native American. Or perhaps a villain in the Breaking Bad television show. And then it says this. You do not have access to this content. Pre-order Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Beta. Well, that's peculiar because while I don't have the beta pre-ordered, I don't plan on buying this garbage, a viewer of mine was kind enough to email me a code and Steam verified that I do have access to the Black Ops 6 Beta. So I close this out and I'm like, what the hell do I- S Somebody, if you have a sparing code, man, send it my way too, man, so I can I can try out before it go, goes for free. But listen, I'm not in a hurry, though. If I don't get the beta code, it's it's fine, though. It, it, honestly, it's fine. I'm gonna try it out like all the other peasants when it goes for free next week, okay? Like, I, I'm patient, okay? I'm patient. Last year, I didn't buy the game <laughs> because I didn't like it. That was the first time I didn't buy. I didn't like their principle. After all, I believe people that played it, they did say the gameplay is fun and all that. Uh, at, at least for the first month and after that, everybody started hating. So maybe the same will happen with this time around. I, I hope not, man. I want zombies being good, bro. I, because zombies is the entire reason I wanted to buy this game. Not necessarily multiplayer. Multiplayer was going to be a bonus for me. Right now, people are seemingly liking it. I guess Blame Truth is not liking it. But I, 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 what I'm seeing is that people are liking the game right now. Or maybe it's the honeymoon phase. Listen, man, the thing with the honeymoon phase is that suckers always look like this okay suckers are always like hey man oh my god man oh my god wow bro it's the best game ever man it's the best game ever man so people always are like that people are always bricked up this year people are bricked up more than usual right like damn and this is why when they saw zombies gameplay like for the second time because for the first time everybody was shaking okay everybody was like doing helicopters myself included like I, I was honestly very very excited okay <laughs> for zombies i was very excited then these circus revealed the intro cutscene for the liberty balls or my bad uh liberty falls yeah that's the word Bruh. right 
And, and yeah, we ended up getting blue balled, bruh. Like, the intro looks so good. Credit where it's due, man. When Rick Toffin was going with that, with that, <laughs> with that Wonder Waffle, like running around, learning to pow, 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 pow. Bat, 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 bat. You know, it was looking really good, man. I was excited. I was shaking. I was like the homie Mr. Dalek, okay? Oh, oh I'm shaking. I, I guess everybody was shaking, right? And then we saw the map and we were like, that's it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was it, that was it. Right? Because it looks like a multiplayer map. And, and to be fair though, yes, you can turn off the HUD and all that. You can maybe perhaps change it a little bit. Still looks like trash, but at least you are given the option. So, you know what? I'm not gonna criticize that too heavily, okay? It's the little stuff that makes or breaks. I am fully aware. I do agree with that. But since we're gonna have the option to turn it off, because I, I can guarantee, man, if they showed us the, the Terminus, the, the you know, the first zombie map, zombie map they revealed with 4K. Uh, I, I, right now, I'm, I, I hope what, whatever they showed was actually gameplay because uh, after seeing that new gameplay, right, new map gameplay, Liberty Balls, I'm kind of like, what if that was like the pre-render cutscene gameplay? You know, like pre-rendered gameplay, not necessarily cutscene, but pre-rendered gameplay, which means is that they have beefed it up on purpose, tried to make it, make sure that it looks good when they show you and it's, uh, but when you get to play, it's not gonna look like that, right? So I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but they showed that gameplay, Terminus, the first map gameplay without the HUD. And bro, it did look good. I'm still gonna say it did look good. It did look good. And a lot of people said it looked good. When they showed us the map with the HUD, of course, uh, you can turn off the HUD. But I mean, like, the map looks like multiplayer Warzone DMZ like. And that's not what people want. Because, and there's also another argument that right now, uh, people are saying that, hey man, it's just a bonus map. You know, people that are coping right now, they're saying, it's just a bonus map, bro. It's just a bonus map. You look at the giant, the Reese remaster that we had all the way back uh, nine years ago in Black Ops 3 Zombies, my guy. And that looks so good. Let me actually show you the gameplay of it right now, just so I give you like, just so you have the context, right? Uh, I'm gonna search it live. I'm gonna search it live, but roll this. I do, and I asked Twitter, they said, try it again, it's, it's glitchy. So I boot up Con HQ again, and I, I boot up Black Ops 6 from Con HQ again. It closes Con HQ again, and Damn. then finally, six fucking times I have to boot this up, I get into the Black Ops 6 beta. Six instances, as well as a 141 gigabyte plus download to just play the fucking beta. Like, I've been doing this so long. You know what it was like back in the day? You download like a 10 gig beta, you hit play. That was it. What what yeah, has true, happened? True. Why are we going so far backwards with something as simple as just booting up the beta? Uh, seriously, I'm not complaining for the sake of it. This whole process literally took an hour plus, and I have fast internet to download this stuff, man. I have a freaking fiber connection. I'll spare you me showing you this as well, but there's like a Quran length amount of, of settings to go through. And I had to go through them to get things to not feel incredibly clunky. It still doesn't feel good, but the default- All right, let me, let me actually show you this real quick. So this is 2024 zombies in Black Ops 6. Look at that, bro. This is like the highest quality. This is not stream quality. This is the highest quality you're gonna get, ladies and gentlemen. The highest, okay, the highest. I, I do get it like there's gonna be a little bit of compression with the YouTube, but Come on now, man, like, uh, th this is how the game is gonna look when you get to play, okay? It's gonna be a little bit better, for sure, but it's gonna be similar to that, okay? Unless you're playing on PC, I mean, this is PC gameplay, if I'm not mistaken. PC gameplay with the controller, perhaps? I don't know, let's see, okay, if it is or not. But just take a look at this, right? Yeah, maybe PS5 controller attached, or maybe this is PS5 gameplay, but yeah, whatever, right? This is how the game is gonna look like. Now, look at this. This is nine years old nine years old and this is likely played on yeah it's played on xbox right now or maybe pc but i i feel like that it's uh it's definitely console it's definitely console right the, uh, yeah like look at that damn it looks like zombies right that's the point though that's what people wanted the hud is very minimal as well and the hud on top was uh, made for for zombies the point system we had a really good point system why do they change it y you know what i mean like they they've changed stuff that is not ne never broken so yeah, that, these are like the little stuff here, uh, but the major, the biggest thing here is that this map looks like zombies, and, and this map's, uh, this map don't look like zombies, it looks like multiplayer zombies DMZ, right? That's what it looks like, so that's where I'm at with it, but I, I wanna know your thoughts on the multiplayer as well, but I'll, I'll wait for it. Settings, there's some weird, like, sprint assist delay thing turned on by default, which feels terrible. On top of this, which I'll segue into real quick, apparently changing settings just does not work. 
for a lot of people. I, I didn't spend that much time messing with the settings because honestly, I just wanted to play the game. I, I just wanted to boot it up and play it. Uh -huh. And it, it felt uh -huh. like a chore uh -huh. just to do that. But uh -huh. let's get into the meat and potatoes here. Let's get into what I think of this. And I, I, I cannot even begin to dress this up in a positive way. Guys and gals, uh, this might be the clunkiest feeling Call of Duty I personally have ever played. It genuinely feels awful. Like, I, I even went back and played Modern Warfare 3 since I had to download it anyway to even boot this up, just to kind of compare how things felt, and Modern Warfare 3 feels way better, way smoother, way more responsive. Is, is he lying or spitting facts? Because since I have not played it, I cannot confirm this, okay? Is, is that true or not? Let, let me know. Those of you that played it, let me know in the comments, okay? Everything you can imagine. Like, Modern Warfare 3 feels like every mechanic in that game is kind of meant to be in it, for better or for worse, if that makes sense. Like, it feels like the devs built the game around these mechanics, and it feels like this is a mod. It feels like this is like Call of Duty with some Max Payne Modern Warfare 2019 mod. Like, put into it, if that makes sense. It's just all over the place with what it wants to fucking Brad. be. I, I don't even know Brad. how to describe what it wants to be. It feels like a bunch of devs with learning disabilities tried to make something like Black Ops 3, but without jetpacks, and then put it on the Modern Warfare 2019 engine with those mechanics like doors and- Man, that, that engine gotta go, bruh. Like, or, or that engine can stay for like a Modern Warfare game, it, it's fine. But like the track, bro, like, yeah, man, that's my biggest, uh, that's, that's, that's the, that's the main reason why, like, I'm worried about this game in terms of multiplayer, because it just feels like Modern Warfare, man, like, damn, man, I want this to be a Treyarch feeling game, bro. Like, I I'm not complaining about the graphics or anything like that in this one. The graphics are not impressive. Let's, let let me just keep a buck 50, okay? <laughs> they are not. I'm just trying to be honest, guys. I'm trying to be honest. But, but they're not bad either. They're not bad. They're, they're all right. They're all right. I, I, however, I do love, I do love the clean look. I do love the clean look, okay? I'll say that much. Gameplay wise, of course, I don't know. Gameplay usually is always good for Call of Duty, but he's saying it's clunky. So yeah, I, I have not played it, so I cannot give you my honest take on that, but mounting and and all that slow shit it is just a jambalaya a goulash of bullshit uh you know if you think i don't like movement or whatever like i love x defiant i love black ops 3 and those two games have movement but there is like usually a trade-off to that movement if that makes sense especially now with x defiant that they pwned it down in the last patch or whatever but like in black ops 3 you know if you want to use your jetpack you have a, a cooldown you have like gas i love x defiant <laughs> Oh, I, I, no, that's fair. That's fair. He finally loves one game in his life. And you know what? I'm happy for this gentleman, man. Damn, man. So, yeah, he finally found love for a game. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm just trying to come out with positives right now. Uh, uh, give or take 80% of you guys are loving the game at least right now. So that's another positive. We're also under emo blame truth era. Only happens once a year, but it lasts a long time. So I'm, I'm happy about that too, guys. And I'm happy that we're getting like free therapy as well, right? Like I'm watching the gameplay ride. <laughs> and I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it, okay? A and we're getting the, the complaints. We're getting all of that. So like free therapy. I don't have to go take a therapy. I got like blame truth and I got call of duty videos. And I got you guys in the comment section. So that's my therapy, brothers. That's my therapy, Kaji. In it, essentially. So if you want that, I I'm, I'm happy. I'm grateful. These are the things that I'm grateful for in the moment, right now. And I'm grateful to have you around as well. I'm grateful for you to be dropping the like button as well, okay? Advanced movement, there's a trade off. And X Defiant now, if you want to jump and do the air strafing and whatnot, especially now, there's a trade off. Like you eventually will slow down and lose momentum. In okay. this game, though, there's none of that. There's no real trade off for the movement or moving around or whatever. There's no uh, negative impact to it. You're like a paddle ball, you're like the ball portion but you have a string that kind of pulls you back in so you don't go flying off the map, if that makes sense. It literally feels like at any moment, you can just dive in any direction. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, is the best way I can put it. It just feels not good. And I'm not trying to be a downer on the movement. I think that movement is good. I, I do like good, fluid movement. The problem Bruh. is that this is neither good nor fluid. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe people will, will say like, once you get used to- but, but you said that you're not gonna apologize, bro. They're like, why are you apologizing, man? To it, it's fine. I don't see how I could get used to this. I want to genuinely just turn it off. I want to okay. turn off every Fair. single fucking shitty mechanic in this that I don't like. Tax Sprint is the biggest head scratcher for me because these three maps that we have are pretty small. And from what I understand, a lot of these maps are pretty small. With Tax Sprint in, I, I just don't see the point. I, I've never liked this anyway because I'm someone that ends up accidentally triggering it constantly, even when I don't want to, because I'm a masher. I've been mashing the Sprint button since like COD 4 in 2007. And then suddenly this mechanic comes along that I can't turn off, I can't tweak. And like, it, it basically just forces me to change how I've played for 15 okay. years. For, for what reason? I don't know. I wish I could just turn this mechanic off. I wish I could. Okay, I wanna I wanna see his talk. So in skill-based matchmaking and the maps are mostly awful. Okay, I wanna see that. 
the maps though, man. Uh, let me talk about these. This one's oh, pretty good, ow. actually. It looks pretty good too. I like the uh, visuals on it, and that's really the only positive. Oh shit! Oh shit! No way! Is this really a blame trust video? Finally, he's liking something. Damn! That is progress, brother. That is progress, blame trust. If you're watching this, man, that's progress. And those of you that are also watching, that is real progress, man. Finally, he likes one thing about Call of Duty. That's progress. That's progress. I have to say the other map I think it's derelict the train yard. It's pretty damn bad and then scud Fucking scud scud makes me want to take a scud in my hand and throw it at the goddamn wall. It's so bad I, I take it back. I take it back. Honestly a horrid map I don't even know what they were thinking putting this in the beta like as the you know top three I I'm assuming this is their top three map picks to get people invested uh -huh. if this is the best they got we are in trouble these maps just ain't it. Two out of three are downright bad. They, they, not to be fair, though, jokes aside, the maps, yeah, like, give or take, they don't, they don't feel Black Ops C to me, though. They don't feel like Black Ops to me. They feel like Modern Warfare. That's that's the that's uh, the, the biggest issue right now for for me personally. But if it's not an issue for you, you're liking the game. That's that's perfectly fine too. This one is, I would say, okay, a and that's really the only thing I have. Positive to say about this whole beta, by the way, is this map right here is okay. The game runs pretty well. I, I heard some people had some packet bursts and some connection issues. I actually, from what I shortly played, didn't. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, I didn't. I, I did go into the settings and turn off the, the texture streaming or turn it down. I can't turn it off anymore. So I put it on like low or whatever, uh, whatever that means. I don't even know what the fuck it means anymore. Okay. As far as the settings, I, I want to hear his uh, talk on skill based matching because you know that that's like is gonna be in the game, right? Let's see. The data, oh, the data shows we have to put skill based matchmaking even in the beta. Oh, the data. Won't someone think of the data? Like, god damn it. We can't even have a beta with just, you know, regular matchmaking. I literally had to hop on and just rage quit like four times. Thankfully, there was bad spawns that helped me out just to get like this lobby where I could kind of move around and just kind of run around and test stuff like stuff out. Just embarrassing. I'm over it. I'm just fucking over it, dude. Anyway, guys, final thoughts. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This is a new map gameplay from Zombies as well. Check out this uh, Zombies gameplay. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the new Zombies gameplay from the new map. They revealed another one, right? So check this one out, and I'll see you right there. If you have not seen that, or if you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Some GTSX and PS5 Pro gameplay getting leaked out too, Kaj.